Okay, this is, uh, I guess, be part two of uh, making a DIY uh, fuel pressure cap of the plastic cap. Uh, I uh, cut out and mounted a uh, tire valve with a just a normal uh, tire valve, bolt-on type. Anyway, cut out the inside of the cap and uh, then had to grind off the hex head part out here so that I could get enough room to uh, get some threads on here. In hindsight, obviously, if you had a longer uh, valve, which I'm not sure you can get much more thread than that, it would set above the hex head and make it a lot easier to install it. As it is, I used a large pair of channel locks. Uh, you could probably leave, you know, it looks like there's maybe an eighth of an inch there, so you could probably leave an eighth of an inch of, of uh, hex on there. And uh, still have something to get a hold of with a with a wrench. Uh, anyway, this is how it works. Uh, go ahead, turn it on. As you can see, you've got uh, about 57 psi of uh, fuel pressure. There's no leaks. Works really well, actually. Uh, and now the next step will be to set it up under the hood. Where I can watch it uh, and do a uh, dynamic test, and that'll be in the second half of this. Okay, uh, we've got the uh, hood shut, and uh, so we can go ahead and check the pressure on this now. Hose isn't quite long enough, but you can see that next mark up past. Uh, 20 is 30, and then 40, and then 50, and then 60, and 70, and 80. As you can tell. I'm going to do a dynamic test now. And uh, see, if we can, see if we can find if there's a uh, fuel pressure issue. Full throttle yet? Uh, that's why I get away from town. Now I'm gonna do full throttle. And as you can see, it's holding good fuel pressure. We're at 60 miles an hour. We're at full throttle, and it's still held good fuel pressure. Pull the windows up so we can hear here. Full throttle. Again. And it's still holding good fuel pressure. Uh, somewhere around 60 PSI. So, looks like this is a success. Thank you.